Hello friends, today we are going to see fractional knapsack problem using greedy method. So learning outcome for this session is students will be able to use greedy method to solve knapsack problem. That is they will be able to find feasible solutions and optimal solutions to given knapsack problem. So let us see what is knapsack problem. So you have given n objects and a knapsack of capacity n. So object i has w weight wi. If complete or fraction of the object is placed, the profit of pi into xi is earned. So objective is to fill the knapsack that maximizes total profit earned without exceeding its capacity. Now consider this example. You have given a knapsack of capacity 20. There are three objects. Weights are 18, 15 and 10. So these are the three objects. And the profits are 25, 24 and 15. Now we will start putting the objects into the knapsack. So let us see which objects we can put into the knapsack. So first we will place the second object. Its weight is 15 and the capacity of knapsack is 20. So we can completely fill the object into the knapsack. Now let us try to insert one more object into the knapsack. So let us try with the first object. Now here the weight of the first object is 18 and already we have placed the first second object. So total capacity is becoming 28 which is greater than the capacity of the knapsack. So we cannot completely put two objects into the knapsack. So let us try some other combination. So first we have already put the second object. Now we will try to put fraction of the first object. So here we have put only the 5 part of the first object. So the now capacity has become 20. So here we have put second object completely and some part of the first object. So in this way what we need to do is that maximize the profit pi into xi subject to summation of wi into xi less than or equal to m. What does it mean that the total weight that we are putting into the knapsack should be less than the capacity of the knapsack. So I have given you one combination. So at this moment pause the video and try to put the nap objects into the knapsack. What does it mean that come up with different combinations which you can fill into the knapsack. So I hope you have written some combinations and these may be one of the combinations which I have come up with. So what do you mean by feasible solution? The total capacity of the, the total weight that you have put into the knapsack should be less than or equal to capacity. So here I have come up with five solutions. Now let us see all are feasible or not. So in the first we have put the complete first object whose weight is 18. So the fraction is 1 and the total weight will be obviously 18. In the second example, in the second solution, the first object is taken completely whereas in the second object we have taken only 10 part of the 15. So that is 0.66 fraction. So the total weight is becoming 28. Now this is greater than capacity. So it's not a feasible solution. So in the third one, we have taken only the 0.5 part of the first object, 0.33 part of the second object and 0.5 part of the third object. So complete weight is becoming 20. Yes, it is a feasible solution. In the fourth one, we have dropped the first object. We have taken the second object completely, whereas we have taken only the half part of the third object. So again, total weight is becoming 20. In the third one, now the total weight is becoming 25. So 15 plus 10 which is again greater than 20. So the third and the fifth one is not a feasible solution. Whereas the first, third and fourth are feasible solution. So I hope you have understood feasible solution. Now what is the next part is that calculating the profit. So which are the feasible solutions for these feasible solutions we will calculate profit. So for the first solution we have taken the first object completely so profit will become 1 into 25 that is 25. In the second case 0.5 fraction of the first so half profit of the first 0.33 fraction of the second so 0.33 into 24 and plus 0.5 into 15. So total profit that we are getting is at 27.92. Now the third object in the third solution we have taken second object completely so the profit earned is 24 whereas the third object we have taken half part so profit will be 0.5 into 15. So total weight is going to be 31.5. So we have got these three profits for three solution. So what is the maximum profit that we have got? It is 
Now this 31.5 is it to optimal solution. Now what do you mean by optimal solution? The maximum profit that we can obtain for the given example or the given problem statement. So we need to find the optimal solution for the given problem. So what are the possible ways to obtain the optimal solution? So at this moment again pause the video and try to think that what should be the order that you will be placing objects so that you will get maximum profit. So yes, first solution can be arrange all the objects in increasing order of the weight. So what will happen? We can try, we will be able to insert as many objects as we can. So we have here arranged all the objects in this increasing order of the weight and then we have found the solution. So first we have taken the first object completely and second object only 10 part is remaining. So we have taken 10 by 15 and the profit that we have got is 31. But earlier we have got the profit 31.5. So this is not an optimal solution. So let us see for the another solution. So what we do will do in the another solution is that arrange all the objects in decreasing order of the profit. What does it mean? We will try to insert the object into the knapsack which is having the maximum profit over there. So here what is the maximum profit? That is 25. So we have arranged it in the decreasing order of the profit and taken the first object completely again because its weight is 18. Remember that. Then the second object, we remaining capacity is only 2 because 20 minus 18 is, going to, 18 is going to be 2. So we have taken only the second part of the, uh, two part of the second object. But the profit earned in this case is 28.2 which is again less as compared to the maximum profit that we have obtained. So only arranging the objects in increasing order of the weights or decreasing order of the profit is not sufficient. So what we need to do is that we have to consider both weight and profit. So what is the greedy method for obtaining the optimal solution is that we need to consider both. So we need to consider the ratio of profit to weight. As much weight I am taking that much profit I am going to gain. So here arrange all the objects in the decreasing order of profit to weight ratio. So we, what is the first step? We have to calculate profit to weight ratio. So we have calculated for the given example and what we have got is at 1.38, 1.6 and 1.5. What is the second step? Arrange all the objects in the decreasing order of these ratios. So 1.6, 1.5 and 1.38. So accordingly you arrange your weights also and profits also. And the, once you have arranged it in the decreasing order of the profit to weight ratio, what is the third step is that now try to put the objects one by one till the knapsack gets filled. So let us see the solution. So after arranging, so here we have arranged it in the decreasing order of profit to weight ratio. So the first object is having the weight of 15. So here capacity is 20. The weight of the first object is 15. So now this weight is less than capacity. So we can completely take this object. So the fraction is 1. So what will be the remaining capacity? So 20 minus 15 will be 5. So again the profit earn will be 1 into 24 that is 24. Now remaining capacity is 5 and the next object is having the weight 10. So now weight is greater than this capacity. So we cannot take the object completely. So how much we can take? As much the capacity is remain. So here 5 upon 10. So we have taken the 5 part. So remaining capacity is obviously now 0. So profit earn will be how much? So as much we have taken the object. So 5 by 10 into its profit that is 15. And as the capacity is no more, so that is 0, we cannot further add the object. So just calculate the profit. So total profit that we have earned is 31.5. So for this particular given example, the optimal solution is that we will be getting the profit as 31.5, not more than that. So greedy method will assure you that it will give you the optimal solution for the given fractional knapsack problem. So here is a reference which we are using as a textbook. Thank you.